You are now listening to the very first Sylvester McNutt the Third podcast. This episode is all about timing, alignment. Last year I put out a book called Care Package, A Path to Deep Healing. The very first chapter is about alignment. I was thinking about life and I wanted to help my readers heal. And so the question came to me, where do you start? Where do you start? When you need to heal, where do you start? Where do you begin? And the more and more I thought about it, the more and more I realized that step one is alignment. See, when your life is aligned, everything flows for you. Everything goes for you. Everything works for you. The people understand you. You have abundance. Your sex life is good. You sleep well. You're getting paid. You're happy. You're in tune with your spirituality. Your relationships are not all perfect, but they're good. Maybe even some are great. You feel good. You like your life. You have complaints like everyone else, but you like your life. See, and that's when you're in alignment. When your life is in alignment, you flow like that. And you can change the narrative and make it whatever you like or whatever you're interested in, but it all flows for you when your life is in alignment. And when your life is not aligned, that's when you have negative account balances. Your energy is low. You can't sleep. Libido low. Diet horrible. Gym. Yoga horrible. You're not committed. Friendships. Eh, sucks. Whatever. Might text back. Might call back. Whatever. You're on social media comparing yourself. See, and that's that's what happens when you're in low vibration. Do you, did, did you hear the difference in my voice when I talked about low vibration versus high vibration? That's proof. That the two different lifestyles carry a vibration. Just say the word anger, sad, depressed, pissed off, mad. It just, it comes off different than happy, in charge, feeling good, motivated, inspired. The words just come off different. So the very first episode has to be alignment. We have to talk about timing. You know, people asked me, it's 2019 now. People were saying to me a couple of years ago, you know, you should really make a podcast. I'll listen. You know, you should you should really do an audio book. I'll listen. And I just was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Never actually, uh, never actually followed through with it. Never did it. For one reason, one reason only, it wasn't the right time. And I knew it wasn't the right time. You know, in 2016, 2017, 2018, while people are telling me to expand my brand and to do a podcast, I knew it wasn't time. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is timing, alignment. <laughs> See, it wasn't the right time because... I didn't have a clear cut purpose for what I would have, what, uh, how I would have used the, the, the podcast platform. I didn't have the equipment needed. This camera I'm recording on is nice. I didn't know how to use cameras in 2015. I had to teach myself how to use this camera, how to learn the aperture, the ISO, white balance, depth of field, composition, framing rule of thirds warm cool <laughs> overexposed color grading i had to i had to learn about a whole industry an industry i never received formal education in i had to learn all of that on my own while earning readership while while putting out work daily to earn readership that would one day turn into 
podcast listeners that will one day turn into people at my live talks and seminars that will one day turn in to me impacting the world in the way that I feel like I'm capable. So when I have this clear cut purpose and people are like, hey, you need to do this. Well, no, there's elements to it. And I have to build out the elements. See, everything is timing. You're building out elements in your life right now. I had to learn how to use this camera. I had to get comfortable with my voice. I had to learn how to speak. I had to learn my voice, how I wanted to speak, how I wanted people to hear me, to perceive me, what I wanted my message to be. If you would have caught me in 2016, okay, just so if you're new to me, I'll give you a little background. Uh, I started my professional writing career in 2013. That's when I put out my first book. Uh, I went to college to learn how to be uh, a writer and a speaker. So it's 2019 now. So I've been a professional writer for six years. To me, a professional writer is a person who gets paid to write uh, material, whether that's a songwriter, uh, someone who works at a magazine, someone who's a reporter, a journalist, you know, someone who writes books, someone who even vlogs, or I'm sorry, uh, blogs and get gets paid for it. I mean, th that's a writer. So I've been a professional writer since 2013. I've lived solely off of my words since 2013. So every day I I look at it as I have to earn I have to earn my viewers. I have to earn my readers. I have to earn it. So people are like, hey, do a podcast. 2016, do a podcast. 2015, do a podcast. 2017, do a podcast. And in my head I'm like, man, I'm not ready. Like I didn't know my voice yet. Right? So I didn't know how to use cameras, and then I didn't know my voice. I didn't know my message. So if you would have asked me in 2015, what's your message, Sylvester? Why should someone listen to you? You know how people try to corner you with these weird-ass sales pitches. Well, in 2016, I wouldn't have been able to tell you my message. I didn't have it defined. It wasn't defined yet. So I would have just been like, oh, I don't know. Listen to me because people follow me online. I got books and stuff. People come, come heard me talk before. Like, no. No. That's not a message. And a lot of, a lot of you watching and listening, you don't know your voice. You don't know your message. You don't know what the hell you're talking about, actually. And because of that, you feel lost. And that's why we're here today. We're here to talk about alignment. Because when we align, then we are found. Then we are on the right path. I actually want to take a quick break right there because I'm going to take notes. I'm going to take notes on what we're talking about here because... I wrote this out, I wrote this out, and uh, I didn't like the outline. I told myself that I needed to just come flow and just come talk to you, but okay, got it, just wanted to take the notes, so, all right, your life is out of alignment, Let's let's go into the book. Let's go in the care package a little bit here. Chapter one, talking about alignment. I want you to uh, align your life. It's just January. I want you to align your life. I find it madly ironic that when one thing is out of alignment, an entire project can go wrong. If the NASA engineers are off by one inch, it will result in a fatal catastrophe. If the trajectory of your jump shot is not optimal, you will shoot at a lower rate. If you have the wrong friends, you will produce the wrong results. My friends, alignment is everything. I'm going to read you an excerpt here uh, from my book, Care Package, where I, I talk about alignment. Uh, let's break this down. How to identify when you are out of alignment. I have dealt with back pain for the last two years. 
Something is not right in my mid-back area. I play football for 10 plus years. I lift weights and play basketball three times a week. If you know just a little bit about the human body, you know that these activities cause stress on the body. As far as I understand, stress on the body isn't always a bad thing. If you want to grow your muscles, working out adds a stress that seems to give positive results. Stronger muscles. However, all stress isn't good, especially if said stress causes pain, then it is definitely not good. The pain that I have in my mid-back causes me a great deal of unbearable stress. I experience restless nights of tossing and turning, and it slows down my day-to-day -day functionality. It's hidden pain because I never talk about it with friends and family members. Plus, you cannot see it since I do not limp. I am very strong, physically and mentally, so people who are simply observing me are un unable to identify this pain. And that's the thing about pain. Sometimes it's on our face as tears, and other times it's hidden deep within. People on the outside have no idea what we're fighting. The only people who know I have back pain are the doctors who I'm, whom, I, whom I've seen and a few close friends. I'm not ashamed of the pain. I just don't care to openly talk about it at this, well, at least until this moment. It seemed irrelevant to me. I woke up the other day and I could barely move. My neck was tight, my back was throbbing in pain, and my shoulders felt like I had lifted a truck the day before. I could barely put on a shirt. I started feeling sorry for myself and cornering myself into the victim role where we typically all love to go when we feel pain. I decided to make a plan that will help me abolish the back pain and ultimately give me the proper back alignment. The back pain is helping me understand the rest of the world in a way that I've never seen it before. It's actually a little poetic. Can, can you see that? Because of my back pain, my life is not operating on the highest wave possible. I'm dealing with back pain every single day. And it's seeping in so deep that it's affecting other activities like sex, rest, the ability to relax, my inner peace. You can look at your life right now and observe something that is out of alignment. Your job, your mental health, hell, maybe you have back pain too. Or you have a best friend who is crossing borders and boundaries. No matter what, we all have something in our lives that is simply not aligned the way it should be. Typically, it's something like back pain. Something that you don't truly feel like explaining or expressing to anyone and everyone. But it's there. So I challenge you to do as I've done for myself. Own it. List it. Take control of it. Destroy it. Become fully aware of it without putting yourself down. Is it my fault that I have this back pain? Yes. Do I deserve to beat myself up over it? Absolutely not. I want you to understand that most of us add pain on top of pain. And that will never solve the problem. I think I need to read that again um, because this is so important. Is it my fault that I have this pain? Yes. Do I deserve to beat myself up over it? Absolutely not. I want you to understand that most of us add pain on top of pain. And that will never solve the problem of pain. If you want to rid yourself of pain, you have to release the pain bodies, the triggers, or the actual entity that is causing you the burden. For the sake of consistency, I am going to stick to my back pain analogy. Because not only is it true, but it's easy to understand and transfer over into your life. 
It's something that I hope you can take with you as you go through life. At the time of this writing, I have committed to ridding myself of this damn back pain. The first step, I had to identify the pain. Then I had to look at what I was going to do and what I had already done around fixing it. That is the first steps you need to take when it comes to aligning yourself. You have to identify the problem. The second step is you have to become fully aware of what you've done to cause it and what you're doing to fix it. The third step to realigning your life, make a new flexible plan that will allow you to attack the problem. And the fourth step to realigning your life, listen to yourself and observe your life as you execute the plan. Those are the four steps to realigning your life. Most people are unwilling to change. Most people are so stuck in their ways that they'll stop at the first step, which is accepting that you are the problem in your life. Change is hard and identifying that you are the one messing up your life, not the man, not society, not your husband or wife, but you is a responsibility that most humans never want to bear. Here's the crazy thing about accepting that you and only you have ruined your life. It gives you power. It gives you power. Because when you can say, I messed up, I put myself in this situation. Now you empower yourself to say, well, if I put myself here, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can get through this. And I may need help. And it's not until you say, I messed this up, that your ego says, you know what? You might need help. You might need to learn more. You might need to experience more. You might need a mentor. You might need to listen to some other people. You might need to slow down. Maybe you're going too fast. But until you can admit, hey, I messed up, I'm responsible for this, you will never overcome the things that are destroying you. You will never overcome until you admit that you messed up. My bad. My bad, y'all. I'll do better next time. Teach me how to do better. Show me how to do better. What can I be better at? Until you get your ego to that point, you will always suffer. The best way to make a plan is to layer the plan. You want to have short-range goals, mid-range goals, and you want to have long-range goals all inside of the plan. You also want to give yourself the ability to adapt and to adjust. So when you realize your life is out of alignment, okay, it's out of alignment, cool, I accept it, I own it. Now you, you get into a position where it's, a, it's like, like this, okay, what am I going to do to fix this? You know what? I need a short-term plan, a medium-term plan, and a long-range plan. And then I need some type of goals, right? So when you make, okay, let's talk about setting a plan because you need to know how to set the right plan. If your life is out of alignment, the timing is not right, and you want to get to the right spot, and you're ready to make a plan. I'll give you an example. Okay, uh, I'm in college. I'm on academic probation. And next semester, I need to get a 3.0 GPA so I can get my GPA up. Okay, so you, that's the problem. You put yourself in this situation by missing study classes, uh, by, by missing tests, uh, not turning in homework. So you, you put yourself in a bad situation. Cool. Anybody listening to this has been to school, so they understand this analogy we're making. All right, so you're in school. You're on academic probation, you have to get your grades up, right? Now your short-term plan is, in the first six weeks of the semester, you will, you will go to the library once a week on your own. You'll go to the library once a week with a uh, study group, and then you will see a counselor or academic advisor, whoever um, part of the, the faculty who can help you, uh, you know, keep, keep accountable. All right, so you got those three people. Also, you're going to let your best friend know, hey, best friend, we go out, we party, uh, we talk about boys or girls, whatever you do. Uh, we talk about buying stuff at Target and, 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 and Starbucks, but we don't talk about school. I need you to hold me accountable. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to check in with me every every Thursday, and I wanna, I'm going to give you a progress report on my homework, You know what I'm struggling with, because I really need to do well this semester. 
can you could you do that for me any best friend is gonna say yeah absolutely yeah I'll, I'll shoot you a text every Thursday like I don't know a best friend that will say no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to help you out no what voice is that uh, I'm not gonna try to help you out <laughs> that's like Bill Clinton <laughs> okay I think I'm losing it in here <laughs> all right so coming back to our situation so you got your short-term goals, <laughs> you got your short-term goals, and then you make a medium goal. So then by the midterms, you want to be at a, let's just say a 3.5 GPA by midterms. Like if the class is in it then, you want to be at a 3.5 because you need to get a 3.0. All right, cool. So then the long-term goal would be uh, by the end of that semester, you're going to pass with a 3.5. Even though you need the 3, you're going to aim for a 3.5. See, that's how you set plans, right? There's three elements there. That I'll tell you about right now. You want to have a plan that has duration. So that's what I was just talking to you about, which is me short, medium, and long, right? So you make sure your plan has duration. And then you want to make sure your plan has accountability because now you got your friend, your coach, you know, you got all these people involved in your progress. So now you have to keep, you got to, you know, you don't want to let them down. So you're not, you don't want to let yourself down or other people. And sometimes that, Sometimes that's the most empowering thing. Like we don't want to let ourselves down. We don't want to hurt ourselves. But when we know other people are counting on us, when we know other people need us, or when we know other people uh, believe in us, then we sometimes don't want to let them down. And that can be one of the most empowering experiences is to know that not only do I not want to let myself down, but I don't want to disappoint you guys. So I'm going to give it my best so we can get the best results. And the last component of uh, your goals is you have to you have to have a way to measure it, right? So the goal in that scenario is a 3.0, but for you, success is a 3.5. That's another element. You want to aim higher. You want to aim a lot higher. Like, for example, when I release my next book, Free Your Energy, let's just say, uh, what's an easy number? Okay, 100. Let's say I want to sell 100 copies of the book. Well, I don't want to actually forecast my effort at whatever it's going to take to sell 100. I want to make my effort match whatever it's going to take to sell 200. That's how you become successful, regardless of what we're talking about. So, example, let's take it off of, of those things and say, hey, this, this is about goal setting now. This is how you set a goal. I want to be more flexible, right? Okay, back pain. I have back pain and I want to be more flexible. How do I get there? Well, you first, you need a short, medium, and long-term goal. Short goal, I'm going to go to yoga once a week. Uh, medium goal, I'm going to go to yoga twice a week starting in two months once I get my consistency. In one year, I'm going to go for a yoga certification because I'm going to take it that serious, right? Short, medium, long-term goal first time I go, I'm going to take my girlfriend with me to yoga because she's a yoga person. So we go to yoga together. Boom. Medium go. Now I done brought other people in. I brought my best friend, my cousin. I done brought other people into yoga. Now when I go get my certificate, right? Okay. You get it. You get it, right? All right. Let's move forward. You get what I'm saying. Okay. We're talking about alignment today. So, Bachelor McNutt, the third, my real name, podcast. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I really do. I really hope that we continue on this path together. Let me talk to you about, from the heart here, let me talk to you about why I wanted to do this. This whole episode, the whole theme is alignment, timing. It wasn't the right time before. I didn't know my voice. I didn't know how to use my equipment. But I want to talk to you about why I want to do this. Why why I feel needed to make a podcast. I believe in me. I believe in my message. I believe in my experience. I believe in my education. I believe in my skills. And I, I see a, a society of people who don't believe in themselves. I see a society of people who don't know how to even begin to believe in themselves. When people look at me and they ask me, what is my message? My message is simple. 
the very first thing I want people to do is heal. I want every person to heal deeply. Men, women, children, all races. I want us all to heal deeply because I believe we're dealing with traumas that come from generations before us and all of us have a duty to healing. The next thing I want us to do is to be extremely precise with who we choose to be around. Everyone is not for everyone. It's not. Everyone is not for everyone. And I want people to learn behavior. I want people to learn psychology. I want people to learn how people talk, how they manipulate, how they convince, how they make you laugh. I want people to learn the psychology of human behavior. I want people to learn human nature. Not because this person is good or bad, because this person might be good or bad for my experience. And I am in control of my experience. And my message is that it's up to you to figure out life, to figure out what's going on in life because you are in control of your experience. I have this tattoo right here. It says master of my fate. I believe in that. I believe you are the master of your fate. I believe that you have free will. Even if you can be heavily influenced, I still believe that we have free will. So my message is, how do I show through storytelling, through thought, through free thinking, through idea, how do I show people that they are in charge of their own experience, that they are the master of their own faith, and that once they heal deeply, once they heal deeply and find purpose through work, through family, through introspection, just finding purpose, that life is okay. And that that is the meaning because everyone's searching for meaning. So that is why I want to do my podcast, because I want to explore all of those topics because they cover the entire human experience. I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about joy. I want to talk about people who break through conditioning in the system. To find bliss, happiness, wealth, abundance, love. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about alcoholic parents, divorce, healing relationships. Getting to know someone after they've been out of your life for 10 years. Breakups. Cuddling. I, I want to talk about the human experience. So when people ask me, Sylvester, why should we listen to your podcast? I'm not here to convince anyone to listen to me. I, I don't convince anyone to read me. I'm just following my purpose, which is to explore the human experience. I don't know the ceiling for where, the, where this will go. I don't know the ceiling for my potential, for my voice. But I know I have to start. I know I have to try. I know I have to give it what I got. And uh, it won't be perfect, but it will be me. And that's all that matters to me. I don't care about being perfect. I care about being me. I care about staying true to my purpose. I care about staying true to my values. I care about not intentionally hurting people on my way to success. I care about taking people with me on my way to success. I care about love. I care about healing. I care about good food, too. <laughs> You cannot have a good podcast if you don't talk about food at least once <laughs> on the podcast. Uh, actually, I feel pretty good about closing this out as episode one. I think I think that format I'll stick to. Um, read a little bit from the book. Talk about talk about what's on my mind. Which today was a uh, alignment timing you want to get the timing right so it that's how you get the right alignment you get your timing right you gotta time things perfectly you know i had to wait for this opportunity to align for me to even be here it's all aligned now i know my voice i know my purpose i know how to work my camera hopefully <laughs> oh man i feel good y'all i feel good 
that'll be our our format i'll talk from the book i'll read from the book talk about a subject or something else that i maybe i wrote or read we'll, we'll start there and then i'll speak to you from the heart because i know anybody who, who's going to read this i'm sorry anybody who's going to listen to this but that's that's different for me being a writer i'm used to writing so i say read but you guys are hearing me or maybe on youtube over here you're seeing me it's like i got three mediums right here i got the the video the audio and the book I'm trying to cover everybody I hope you guys can learn uh, from me as well as I hope you can teach me. Uh, I've, I'm forever a student of learning, a student of life. I, I don't feel as if I'm a guru or a master uh, or anything. I feel like I'm a student. And I feel like my skill is uh, expression, the art of expression. So I'm, I'm a student of expressing. And I think to express, we have to understand human, human behavior, human wants, human needs. Why humans have conflict. And that's what I hope to achieve with this with this podcast. I hope to achieve that. I hope to, uh, when I'm done with this project, I really hope that it, it, it hits mankind the way, for me, my inspiration when I was a kid, Tupac, the way he really inspired me. I mean, if Tupac, if Tupac didn't make his music, I wouldn't be... I don't know. I don't know where I would be. You know, when I was going through the worst of the worst, I would just listen to Tupac and, you know, just like as a black male, seeing another strong black man like that, just strong, but then expressive and vulnerable and, you know, um, he, in tune with his masculine energy as well as under a man who understands feminine energy. It was just like, to me, like, this was like the epitome of what a man is because his existence, I mean, he's a hypocrite in his existence. You know, he's a poet one time and fighting with the cops another time and gang banging, even though, you know, he was a nice guy and he was just a family guy and a loving guy. It's just like, we're all full of that uh, hypocrisy, every single one of us. Every single person on the planet is a, is a, is a hypocrite. And Tupac taught me how to uh, embrace being a hypocrite <laughs> because there's a duality to all of us, right? We all have uh, conflicting behaviors and agendas and ideas. Every single person, there is no pure person. If you think, if you think there's a pure holy person in the world, um, I question your sanity because you, maybe you don't know people. But I've seen a lot of people. There's no pure person. Even the person with the best heart, even the person with the best behavior, is still liable to steal the cookies and blame them on you. I mean, come on. I can't tell you I'm a I'm a I'm a saint and I'm perfect. You know, you know, you know how I have so much experience because I've messed up. I've made mistakes. I've hurt people. Sometimes I've even uh, just hurt people intentionally with my words. Like, man, you, you mother. And that's what we're here for. This isn't about. Uh, a judgment on me or you we're here to explore human behavior we're here to explore thought we're here to understand why would i curse somebody out why would i curse out my cousin when i'm 16 years old and why were we trying to fight each other we're not about to sit up here and pretend that it's all peaches and cream and and, and butterflies and rainbows and that we're all these perfect people i mean otherwise there would be no interesting podcast we like podcasts and books because of conflict because of the drama because of the story because how they pull on us they make us cry they make us smile they inspire us that's all i want to do is inspire you the way tupac inspired me so i dedicate this first episode to tupac <laughs> I dedicate the first episode to Tupac. It is really bright in here, by the way. Like, when you guys see the video, you're going to see that my eyes are, like, super closed. It's because I have bright lights. And I have to adjust to dealing with that. It's, it's hard. <laughs> my lights are not in alignment with my life. <laughs> okay. I'm closing. Sylvester McNutt the third. If you want to get the Care Package book, go to sylvestermcnutt.net and you can order the Care Package book. It's also on Amazon.com. Both of those sites have ebook versions for you people who like ebook versions. Or maybe you're in a country where the shipping costs a little too much. You can get the ebook version. 
I'm starting something called the Free Your Energy Club. Give me 20 seconds to explain it to you. You can go to my website right now to get all the details. SylvesterMcNutt.net, the Free Your Energy Club. I'm going to start it up next week. And basically what I'm doing is creating a club of people that I'm going to interact with uh, via text message, via text message group. I believe it's going to be in WhatsApp. Uh, you pay to get in the club. I'm going to be in there. I'm going to drop you know, my inspirational thought of the day, my words of the day, what I'm thinking about, maybe a question, maybe pick the brains of the people in the club to see, hey, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? You know, what should I do my next podcast on? It's a way for me to connect with my uh, my fans who really thoroughly enjoy my content and, and want to uh, be a little closer, dive a little deeper. Free Your Energy Club. Yeah, we'll start it next week. Uh, so get signed up. SylvesterMcNutt.net. Get signed up for the Free Your Energy Club. This podcast will come back every single week at the same time. See you guys then. Free your energy. See you guys then. Free your energy.